Somebody had asked me to show what a um, hacked uh, CB radio looks like on the oscilloscope. And um, while well, there's, there's quite a few videos on YouTube about this, uh, I was asked to do one, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do one. So we have two radios. Uh, this is the Cobra 29 LTD Classic. And this is the unit in PC78 LTW. Um, essentially, they're the same chassis, same same board. Um, so actually, the modulation adjustment is the same on both of these radios. Uh, so right there is the adjustment for the unit in. And right over here is the modulation adjustment for the Cobra. So we're going to go through both radios and I'm going to show on the scope uh, exactly what it looks like. Hopefully the refresh rate won't be too uh, hindering here. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But let's get to it. So anyway I have a 30 millivolt um, signal coming into this 30% uh, modulation coming into this uh, radio. Uh, from the signal generator, and that's our carrier. So you have four divisions uh, on the carrier, and you can see it's pretty stable, and that's definitely what you want to see. So now I'm going to put this down here. Hopefully, it's not too distracting. That's the carrier, so now I'm going to put the 100 hertz signal through. And that's what it should look like. That's not over modulated. That's 100% modulation. And that's exactly what you want to see on the scope. Uh, you know, smooth transition, symmetrical. Um, yeah, I mean, every scope's going to show a little bit different, you know. Uh, but what you want is symmetry. And while this isn't a test unit, a communications test unit, where, you know, those will actually tell you, you know, um, what percentage modulation you're at. And it's, it's pretty convenient. But the scope, as long as you have nice, symmetrical, unclipped, doesn't look like boxcars, um, you know, uh, on your scope here, it's going to be pretty damn accurate and it's going to be pretty damn close to 100% modulation even though you don't have a piece of equipment spitting out that information to you. Now I'm not a scientist, I'm not you know uh, an expert on uh, you know uh, or should I say an engineer in communications or electronics. What I am is a CB repair guy and I know what to look for on the scope and that's what you want to see. So now because this one isn't um, bypass, we can actually adjust. I'm going to adjust this, and you can see exactly the difference from when it's over modulated and under modulated. So now you can see, hopefully, you can see the bottom part there. You can see it's clipped, and it actually looks like like a box car physically that's what you don't want to see you don't want to see the big separation between cycles either um, you definitely don't want to see that what you want to see is what we had previously so I'm gonna go and adjust this back and go over so now that's actually under modulated so you can see that it's not symmetrical. We have a big gap here between the center line here. And uh, yeah, so you can see it's not, not symmetrical. So what you're shooting for is symmetry. So now let me adjust this back to 100% modulation. And that's about it right there. That's pretty damn close. And what I mean by close is it's it's probably spot on. Because we have perfectly um, good symmetry. You know, between this, there's no gap between the cycles. 
and uh, yeah so that's that's exactly what you want to see so now I'm gonna swap over the connections over to bear with me I'll set you down there I want to swap over these connections to the other radio to the unit in which we know uh, based on the other video we know that the modulation has been clipped uh, so Gonna move, swap everything over. All right. Look at that carrier. So that alone is an indication that something's wrong. So you compare this carrier to the carrier from the Cobra 29 you can see that this is obviously not right right you can see that something is up with the modulation or the carrier but let me um, let me put a signal into this and you can see exactly what I'm talking about I mean look at that that's that's horrible Right off the bat, you can see that something is wrong. And even if you didn't inspect, even if we didn't inspect this before, and uh, if we didn't know that this is clipped, just having that show up on the scope is proof enough that something's up with the modulation. Something, something's wrong. Either the pot's completely backed off or something's been clipped. And in this case, uh, as we know from the previous video, that, yeah, it's been clipped. Now, if I push this down and actually touch the contact that's been clipped, you can see the modulation kind of stabilizes a little bit. Yeah. That's an easy fix, obviously. That's just got to be resoldered back. But no matter what we do here, obviously, it's not going to change. That's horrible. It's clipped. Uh, it's kind of worse than box cars, actually. You know, it almost looks like somebody took a pair of scissors and just cut the top of the, uh, the cycles off. But anyway, that's what you don't want to see. Again, I'm not a scientist. I am not a an engineer of any sort. I fix CBs, so I'm sure if you watch other channels, um, you know, like Mr. Carlson's Lab and whatnot, those guys will actually tell you, you know, why this is doing that and why you don't want that and, you know, actually get into the science of, of it all. What I'm here to show you is what you don't want to see on the scope as far as repairing CBs. So my knowledge goes as far as CB repair. And I just want to make that clear to everybody watching these videos. So this is for CB repair. And um, yeah, that's as far as, you know, my knowledge goes. There's a ton of videos out there on, you know, if you just want to watch stuff on the oscilloscopes themselves I mean there's there's literally hundreds of videos you can watch on you know uh, the science behind the oscilloscope um, you know and and why you know things do what they do um, you know that there's lots of good resources out there but as far as for CB repair that's what you don't want to see you don't want to see that on the scope as far as when you're trying to um, either one see if something's up with the modulation or two um, you know see if uh, you know somebody cut something and this is obviously uh, you know something that's been hacked as uh, you know most people say but you can actually see let me swap radios again and you can actually see the AMC you know, the modulation control at work for the first few milliseconds, or whatever it is, um, when you first key up, 
and you can see that first few whatever it is milliseconds bear with me here you can see box cars on the scope and then once the amc kicks in you can actually see it starts to regulate the modulation as it should and when it does that you know it helps you prevent sound like you know sound like crap on air and uh let me see if i can you see that first whatever it is millisecond you see box cars for a second there but then the amc circuit kicks in and it starts to modulate well it starts to you know basically control the modulation but for that first fraction of a second hopefully you can see that you get box cars and then you see the circuit kick in so yeah i hope that helps clarify or i hope that helps um i don't know uh or in addition to the other videos that you guys watch on you know uh cbs um uh, with hacked uh you know limiters or whatever um yeah so if you guys like this video you can like subscribe and um you know i hope these videos are informative and you guys get something out of it and uh yeah if there's something else you guys want to see that's within my scope of knowledge as far as uh you know radio repair by all means leave a comment and i'll try to accommodate whatever videos you guys want to see um thanks for watching